Well, I'm not even going to try and hide it. This is the star of today's show. This is a very old, and I say very old, I mean it's 30 odd years old. Very, very old PV Bandit 112. That's right. You know I've got a new one, because that's what I do, like, all my demos, well, demos and shit videos through. Um, this one popped up, and I thought, fuck, that's pretty cool. I should see if it's any good. Um, if you can't be bothered watching the video, the answer is yes, it is. All right, now you can go and have your cuppa and a fag, and away you go. Um, however, if you wish to actually watch, I don't know how long this is going to be. I'm plugged straight into it. There's no fucking effects at the back. I'm not going to pick it up because she has built like a. Oh, she brick shit how this this feel. It's got a uh, scorpion speaker in it. Don't know why I'm looking in the back because it uh, says it down the front there. It's got a big fuck off reverb tank. It's got a wee thing that says made in America. It's got preamp out, power amp in, and a foot switch jack. Now this is where it gets funny because it also has an effects loop here. I understand power amp, preamp out and power amp in to be the same as an effects loop. They're probably not and I expect someone who knows oh, excuse me, what they're talking about will correct me because that's what happens on YouTube. Um, the EQ on it's really weird, but <clears throat> it is, dear viewer, it is sitting on a plastic toolbox on a rug in the middle of a room in front of a guitar I'm going to do a video about afterwards rather than, you know, on the floor against a wall where it probably should be. So I've got it to where I think it sounds good, which will probably sound like ass in the video and once I actually put it somewhere sensible, it'll sound really good. But, um, you know, work with what you've got and all that sort of shit. Um, right. Made in the 80s. It's midi as fuck. It's thick. It's brash. But it plays the game really well and I'm quite impressed with it. So if this was solid state from the 80s, I don't know what people were bitching about. Um, this is my severely mutilated Telecaster. Here we are. There it still says Fender on it. It was a 60s classic in its first life. It's got the super low output GFS hot rails in it. Um, and it's got a coil split on it. Uh, it's a split because only one rail works when I pull that up. Um, I'm on full, bleh, full neck humbucker at the moment. <laughs>
Reaver is fucking cool. Um, I've got a wee, what does that say? This is bright, so let's push that. <laughs> is a bit I guess I expected that but you know um what is a bit weird is this is the EQ for the clean channel I'll just flick it right off so know what I'm doing it's got low mid high and presence now low mid high goes 0 to 10 presence goes from negative 15 to positive 15 with 0 right in the middle all right sure if I go if I press channel which is go over to here to the lead channel, the game channel. I've got super sat. That's when your Saturday's really good. And I've got post. So maybe you sent someone something today. But they, they work in conjunction with each other. One's super sat is effectively gain and this is just volume. Post is just volume. Um, it's got shift and it's got another button with just says gain. Um, with this, all it did is make more feedback and add a bit more hair at the top end didn't do much maybe if I had a guitar that actually was built when this was it would make a lot more sense but yeah you and I both know I don't roll that way um, Amazing Saturday and Mail are both labelled 0 to 10 with our EQ bottom body and edge all labelled negative 15 positive 15 the sense comes back with reverb and it's labelled again from 0 to 10. Uh, once more, I've pissed around with this to where I think it sounds good. It probably sounds like ass because of where the amp is in the room and... Yeah, well, you get the rest of it.
could never play that. Uh, how does the rhythm part go? So the trick is that when you're doing a video about an old amp to not fuck with the EQ <laughs> while you're playing. <laughs> pretty good and I guess that's why it's still being made today under the same name the PV Bandit 112 I uh, can't I don't think my one the, my recent one that's like three months old I don't think it says solo series on it the um, Studio Pro 112 was built alongside the Bandit which I think it's just a it's just got more grunt I'm not sure um, I'm pretty sure that's still around as well. I know the Envoy's still around. That was the little guy. This is a 112. The Envoy was a wee 110. 10-inch speaker. And it just had a little bit less shit going for it. I might actually go a bit of fun with this. See what I can get it to do. Hmm. Wow, well, pleasantly surprised, actually. Just uh, probably not best suited to a... Fucking telly. <laughs> so if you've got an old PV Bandit and you're playing a telly through it with mediocre results, yeah, well, oh, actually no, let's not go down there at all. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, then you liked it, brilliant. Um, you can probably have one of those for not a lot of money. Um, so I'm gonna go and fuck around with that and when I get sick of it, I'm gonna do another video. How about that? Yeah, fucking ah! <laughs>